Now for part two, going from name to structure, the first IUPAC name, 1,1-dibromo-2-methylpropane. So I'll always start with the parent chain and write that down first. Propane is a three carbon long chain. Number whichever way you want to, I'm going to number this way, one, two, three. For my substituents, two bromines on carbon one and a methyl group at carbon two. Nothing else specified in my name, so this structure matches my IUPAC name given. My next name is cis chloro 2 ethyl cyclohexane. Now with this, we'll always start with the parent chain. Cyclohexane, this is a cyclic alkane, six carbons long, so it's a hexagon. I can start my numbering anywhere I want to. I'm going to go clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six. On carbon one is my chlorine. That's implied because there's no position given in front of chloro. My ethyl group is at position two. Now the last thing to notice is that the cis designation is at the front of the name. Both the substituents, ethyl and chloro, are on the same side of that cyclohexane ring. Two ways to do that. The bond going out from the cyclohexane ring to the chlorine and to the first carbon of the ethyl group can both be dashes or they can both be wedges. Either gives us the same compound. Either way shows that those substituents are both on the same side of the ring. Okay, the next one listed is actually the mistake on the worksheet that it asked you to look for. It is posted as 3,3-dimethylbutane. This is incorrect. The carbon numbers given for the two methyl substituents would not give us the lowest carbon number. The correct name should actually be 2,2-dimethylbutane. Next name is 3-chloro-2-cyclobutylpentane. So we'll start with the parent chain, of course. 5 carbon long pentane. I'm going to number left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On carbon 3 is my chloro, a chlorine atom. On carbon 2 is a substituent of cyclobutane. So we draw the bond out to the ring and then construct the ring. Nothing else listed in this name, so this is the appropriate structure. For the next name, 1, 2, dibromo, 3, terbutyl cyclopentane. Again, we always start with the parent name. Cyclopentane is a five carbon cyclic alkane. It's pentagon shaped. I'm going to number clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. At the positions carbon one and carbon two are my bromines. Position three contains my terbutyl branched alkyl substituent. And that is all that is specified here. Next name, 1,1,2,3-tetrabromo-propane. Start off with my parent name of propane, 3 carbon, numbering left to right, 1, 2, 3. There are four bromines on this structure. Two of them are bonded to carbon 1. The third one is at carbon 2, and the fourth is at carbon 3. No other substituents according to the name, so this should be my structure. Okay, for the last name, secbutyl 3 chloro 2 propyl cyclopentane. Go ahead and start with the parent name, cyclopentane, which is a pentagon shape. I'm going to remember clockwise from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Secbutyl group, branched alkyl group, it's a butyl chain. The carbon 2 is a straight chain propyl group that is 3 carbons long. And the position 3 is my chlorine. Nothing else mentioned in this name, so this would be the appropriate structure for the 